What up, what up? It's your boy I Say So. This DJ True. And you in the truth, if you say so. Hey. We got a special guest today from the movie Going Through It, The Water Bees. Uh, motherfucking, uh, all kind of shit. This nigga be doing all kind of shit. Man, y'all give it up. He played goals and he another guest from the Go Still Going Through It movie that's coming out. Right. We got that boy. Go! What's good, man? What it do? What it do? What it do? What it do? What the hell it do? Nothing, man. What's pop? What's pop, man? We got a lot to talk about today. We're gonna talk about excuses, 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 man. Like we try to think, what's people excuse for not doing what they want to do? For real. I had a homeboy. I had a homeboy call me. You know what I'm saying? He was like, Yeah, man. I don't think I'm ever coming to Atlanta, man, due to my job situation. I said, What? Right. He said, I just got, I just can't, man. Just the reason, cause you know, they won't let me off. I do two weeks notice shit. I said, nigga, I got no money. I'm broke. And I moved to Atlanta. What's your excuse? I don't see, I see if you want to do something you want to do. You can go ahead and do it. Excuses. You're right, you're right, you're right. You're excuses right. for bitch ass niggas. I ain't calling them bitch ass niggas, but excuses is for, you know, for people that don't want shit in life, I'm exactly, sorry. Exactly, so. Yeah, yeah, because they feel like, like you, you don't want to do nothing when we talking about, he ain't want to do nothing, but I bet, like, let's say, he, they had a girl, I bet you go eat hot. <laughs> <laughs> you probably right, you hey, probably, you probably right. right. Yeah, you probably right, you're right. Hey, man, hey, gotta blue. keep it all the way on on the show, man, on the show. So, man, right. look, man, so tell us about your part on uh, going through it, man. Uh, let the audience know, you know, what's your, what's your part in the movie? All right, you see me, I play two goals. I play like a hitman slash, you know, hitman, you know? Right. I just go. My, my point is basically is uh, I'm the I'm the guy, uh, Big D hires to kill, you know, whatever that dude, Blaine, what's his name in the movie? Hey, man. We, DJ? We, yeah, DJ, DJ, DJ. Yeah, and he plays the kill DJ, and uh, that's basically my point. I'm the hitman, you feel me? All right, I got all right. you, all right. Hitman, all right, man. So, like, man, for the people out there, man, what, what, what would you think to tell these people who got excuses and not doing what they want to do? They always got to like hold back or procrastinate on anything. What, what's something you want to do? Now, if y'all don't know, this man, he plays, you know, semi-pro football. Uh-huh. You know, yeah. he's, he was the wide receiver. He, he did a great job for his team. I talked about Huh? Tight Yeah, he played the tight end. He did a great job. They went to the Super Bowl. Like I said in the first podcast, they lost the game, but they won the fight. Yeah, sir. So we gonna keep it. So so that man did what he had to do, sacrifice his body, his out of shape body, his oh, yeah. and yeah, just yeah. <laughs> playing football. So man, tell the people if they wanna do something, what what kind of mind frame they gotta be in in order to do what they wanna do? Well always I'm gonna use football perspective with me, you feel me? I love football to this, you know. I'm uh, 29 years old, people say you're too old, you know, but I just seen a 55 year old man going to college playing fullback on the internet, you know. I just seen that earlier today. Wow. So I'm like, man, that man can do it, you know, I'm going to do it, so I'm going to continue to play football. I ain't going to lie to you, I'm still trying to get in the meet. Ain't no excuse with me. Wow. I'm going to put my body out there. I've been playing football. Hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You saying you're trying to get in the league? Hey, hey, man! Did you hear that man say? That man said he's trying to get that in the league. That man said he's trying man. to get in the NFL. That what? nigga, said that. that's not an excuse, lady. Hey, y'all can laugh all y'all want. What? 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 <laughs> <laughs> he trying to. Get, <laughs> that man said he's going to the NFL, man. You he heard? Don't get, I'm trying to get in the league, man. Hey, hey, no excuse. Look, check it out. I've been playing hurt all season. After the first game when they do first season, I was in the rest of the season. <laughs> <laughs> so I, kept, I kept playing, you know, broken hip. You know, I was the lead score on my team. Now, shout out to the, let me give a shout out to my team right now. The Bayou Hurricanes, you know, that's a new team we joined. We coming together as an organization. Shout out to them. Shout out to my coach, Phil. Our, uh, our GM, Derek, the jerk. You know, we're going to do big things. We're back to the Bayou uh, Hurt, not the Bayou, the Bulls. You know, I had like five touchdowns, 500 yards this year, you know. Jeez. A sack, a fumble. Uh, uh, you know, all kinds of things. I did my thing, you know, so we sacrificed on my body. I just made like one eight. I did my thing on the field. I, I didn't put no excuses. You know, I was first. I was out there playing. Y'all heard that, huh? Y'all heard that, No huh? excuses, man. Y'all heard that, that man huh? say you doing it, Y'all yeah. heard that, huh? That man said no excuses. Hurt body and all, man. And that man went out there and played football. Now, now, what? true, man. What, what, what you got to say about, like, no excuses, man? What, what's your story, cuz? Let people know. Man, it just... I don't... I don't have no excuses because I'm doing everything I want to do, but 
for people that do that, that make excuses, you don't want nothing in life. Just plain and simple. It's nothing. Like, don't don't complain when somebody else doing this and saying, oh, man, that, that person. I, nah, man, fuck that. You could do the same thing. Stop making excuses. For all my homeboys, they ain't coming to Atlanta. Y'all making excuses. Fuck all y'all. I'm saying. God damn it. Niggas lying. Shit. Shit. <laughs> like you could the, the white man gonna give you a day off all weekend. So make you you got I got a whole place where you could stay, you ain't gotta pay for no hotel, no food. Whatever. Like I'm trying, come on. I'm trying, I'm trying to move though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man, man, man. That nigga stupid, man. Anyway, hey bro, we we'll, uh, we'll go Take a call on the line and see what they would, you know. What, what they, they think about it. What, what excuses they got all day, you know, if they met no people that make excuses. So, all right, all call right. them. First call them, man. You're on, the, you're on the chew and say so what it is. Hey, how you doing, man? <laughs> <laughs> What's your name, man? What's your name, man? Ah, they call me Blanca. <laughs> Blanca? <laughs> you... From Monaco? I'm in the street fighter? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> what? No, man. Let's <laughs> go. Hey, man, what's, we want to know why people make excuses for doing what they want to do. So how you feel about that? Look, man, when I was fighting in the street, trying to get niggas up there, right? I had no problem just doing what I had to do. People say it, man. I like the way you shot the nigga in the street. They said, 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 all right, but I'm like, you, you. And, uh, that, that, I, I did it, man. I did it. I, I won a championship. I, I tried it at night, and, uh, I did it. So, are you saying blocker, so you made it. You had no listen, excuses. No excuses, but listen. To this day, I'm still making fights in the street. <laughs> from Street Fighter hey, and hey, Y'all ain't gonna never get that nigga from Street Fighter nowhere but in the truth you say so. All right, we gotta do a little sponsors. Our sponsor is Versace glasses. Get them from right. the flea market for 35 dollars. <laughs> Versace sunglasses. Oh, and don't forget, go get your all chain that serving Chevrolet. $19.99. Make sure you get your arch in at Service Chevrolet. And don't forget, HP computers. If you ain't got an HP, I'm sorry. <laughs> you should have got a fit. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right, we're back at it. Uh, you know, back to the topic, you know. It's about excuses. So we could jump into another subject, man. We could talk about people getting mad on social media when somebody unfollows them. So, how do y'all feel about that, man? Me personally, I don't give a shit. If I follow you, you ain't got to follow me back because obviously I just like what I see. And I don't care yeah. if you would unfollow me. It don't mean no difference to me because I don't give a shit about it. See, they got most right. people out there get mad and be like, oh, man, a nigga, man, I don't follow that nigga. I'm like, for what? Because you ain't following me back. Nigga, I don't give a fuck. What you following for in the first place? Oh, man, man, man. Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. <laughs> I follow who I want to follow. And y'all get mad when the girl, you follow a chick and she don't like the pictures. And you be liking hers and she ignore you. And you comment on her. Yeah, man, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> now, 
Because old man she, probably be lurking, be like, all right, let me see what she like. The chick could be single, but you know the nigga be commenting on, hey, beautiful. And then some whack ass nigga probably be like, what's up, girl? She responds up, because she know that nigga, but niggas be getting their feelings. Man, I'll find that girl, man. She responds to some old lame ass nigga. So, man, what y'all feel about that? How y'all feel about that? Y'all care what people think about, you know, unfollow, unfollow on social media? Honestly, I don't care. Like, it is what it is. Like, you know what I'm saying? You unfollow me, you don't like it. I'm still going to post it. Right. Care like your like don't make my page do anything or you ain't about to make I ain't why you liking it, I ain't gonna make no dollar off a like or something, so it is what it is. The social media fuck it. Who cares shit, man? Is it social media, yeah. man? Y'all like that y'all real life or something. It's not y'all real life. It is entertainment for you to do when you're on the toilet or you're bored at a gas station or the airport. Oh, if you ride with your partner or something, you're on a, on a, on a trip or something. Or, just, or if you're in the club and it's getting whack. Yeah, <laughs> you just <laughs> fucking, hey, both. Shit, it's like. Matter of fact, hashtag whatever club you're in, just look at the bitches that are taking all the pictures real, shit, in the club. What it is, yeah. huh? But y'all getting y'all feelings, man. So now you feel about that uh, goals, man. You feel that it's like, is, is it that serious to be up mad if somebody don't follow you, or like your pictures and shit? Me personally, I really don't care, but you know, like, got people out there, you can get, let's say, I'm gonna use another example, they got, you can say because a chick, right? right? You know, everybody be lacking on pictures, you feel me? Everybody be commenting, you feel me? Right. But she don't reply back. But they got that one nigga who say something, they reply back to her. Some niggas get that picture before they can reply to that nigga who double on the internet, so if she reply to people be lacking on these pictures, and if you want to follow the female, like, there's a little nigga. You can have a nigga right at, you know, a chick, all kind of chick comment on the whole picture. His picture, you feel me? Yeah. And then one white girl be like, oh, what are you crazy? He replied to her. There's the only one he's feeling. Personally, all that father and unfather shit, they can all eat a dick to you. Social media is like you say the brother can when you're bored and when you have to hump with your whole boss and nobody's doing nothing else. It's all full of funny games and beer and does nothing for it. So what I gotta say about people following and unfollow me, help y'all, do the dick and kill the boy gutter. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, man. That's how we feel about social media. We really don't give a shit. Nobody gives a shit. I don't give a shit personally. Because if I, I follow really, okay. I really, really don't care. But like, just certain people out there, man. We're going to get a call this, man. We're going to take a few. Oh, hold on, hold on, Before you get a call, I got one more thing to say about it. They got people who follow. They're not following people right now. You feel me? Because they can see somebody like doing something good with this stuff. You know, like my whole boy, uh, dude, uh, we've been doing all the podcasts that you right now. Nah, Did you get true? Get true, you know? He got that, uh, that, uh, that, 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 uh, magazine thing, man. People were dating on that man on the cool, man. It's like, oh, man, how that nigga make it in Atlanta already? Someone follow that nigga because he's going to do it too good, huh? <laughs> Hey, man, that's one of them. If they want to do that, go ahead. I'm talking to saying it too. Like, with you, my brother, you know, they see, oh, you moved to Atlanta, you working on FedEx, but they ain't making no more videos. I'm hating on it. And just some petty ass people that don't want to see people on top, man. Yeah, so it yeah, is what yeah, it is. Yeah. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just bullshit ass y'all. Fuck up. What I came out to really do is a temporary minor setback for a major comeback. You know how the fuck I do? I'm say so, nigga. That's how I do this podcast. I do this, and I got film coming soon. And we're working on the movie premiere, and it's going down in a few months. Cause you know what? I'm gonna find another job any goddamn way. Cause I'm tired. I'm tired of this <laughs> ass job. Job full of shit. Fuck these people. Y'all see it? Fuck these people. Shit, man. Right, shit, right. Man. But you know, shout out to the cool people I do work with. I ain't gonna say y'all names because I don't know y'all like that. But y'all cool, you know what I'm saying? I keep it, keep it 100. And yeah, shout out to bad bitches at FedEx. Holla. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Shout out to the shout out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna take the call and see what y'all think about uh, social media. Uh, call you on the line, man. You're the truth. So, how you feel about social media? Instagram, 
you know, Twitter. Oh man, I just got a big Twitter account. <laughs> 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 Nigga, you still don't black play? I just got out. <laughs> got out of the way. Yeah, I just got out of the way. Oh man, you was in jail. What happened? Why you went with you to jail for? Sponsored by Middle of the Mall Sunglasses. If you can't afford the real shit for the real price, go in the middle of the mall and the motherfuckers will hook you up with some expensive fake shit. And also, Tide wash detergent. If you, if you can't clean it, Tide. Tide Motherfucking Tide. Tide boss, Tide boss. Anyway, back to the truth. Say so you know what it is, what it is, what's popping. We're gonna talk about, man, you know what I'm saying? Atlanta. You know how I feel about this city so far, man. It's my coming up third week. I've been at you. You know, so far, man, you know what I'm saying? The city is, like, so when I see the city lights at night, man, it'd be cool. I'm like, man, I'm really at you, man. It's it's tight, bro. But when I get to that job, be like, fuck this shit. <laughs> <laughs> fuck this shit. But like, I hate this shit, man. People whack, man. But then when I get on the job, man, when I get on that road, I'll be seeing all kinds of spots I've never seen before. Like today, man, I got to see Martin Luther King, where he grew up on, the block he grew up on, man. And you know what, 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 what was so special about that moment, people? Some white people took a picture of me in front of Martin Luther King house. Now, Martin Luther King was looking down and saying, yeah, my nigga, that's what I'm talking about. You got a white people taking a picture on your block. Now, that's very historical for me on a positive note, but on a negative note, fuck that job. <laughs> Everything about this shit. I'm tired of that fucking job. <laughs> shit, work your damn long hours to make no fucking money. A dollar will stop. Kiss my ass. Anyway. A dollar will stop. A dollar will fucking stop, man. Yeah, man. A that's bullshit, stop. bro. A dollar will stop. Man, you know, you give a dollar until it stop. <laughs> <laughs> it do something, man. People full of shit, man. But, man, you know what I'm saying, bro? Oh, let's man. see. Like the, we got a holiday coming up, Thanksgiving. So, what y'all goals? What you gonna do for for Thanksgiving? What you got planned? Oh, uh, we, we got a little kind of uh, the little new semi-pro football team I'm uh, working with. We be doing all these days. So we going to uh, feed the homeless that day. We gotta go do that. And, uh, right, that's that's nice, man. So, so, uh, to the uh, the nursing homes and uh, help feed the old people and stuff. Just something good with the uh, the new. Football team I went to the uh, Louisiana Bayou Hurricanes. We're doing a little, yeah, it's good. I think it's legit this time. And this one, it's pretty cool. I like the way they worried about the community and stuff. So, that's good. Positive, man. And then, and then after that, uh, going to the casino. Like, oh, damn, let's go to that. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all go look out for them balls, man. Go check out them balls, man. Make sure they do better than the Bayou Bulls, you heard me? Make sure they check out them Bayou Hurricane season pass 2017. Uh, first game will be... When the March first game? 4th. March 4th at... March 4th. March 4th at... Uh, the location is not set yet, but it's March 1st. Y'all got your shit together. <laughs> 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 all right, all right, all right, man. But uh, I, I was looking forward to Thanksgiving until they told me I got to uh, go to work Friday. Fuck FedEx! <laughs> This nigga really hate his job. I don't like that job, man. That's all I wonder, man. Everybody in that place ain't been there no longer than a year. <laughs> the dude I rode with been there a month. The other dude I rode been there five months. And the other dude I talked to been there three weeks. And just how the African dude. Let me tell you about this African dude before I had this podcast. This shit was funny. I checked this out, y'all. I was, I was chilling, you know. I was loading my truck. <laughs> African said, hey, man, how you doing? I said, I'm good, man. I said, what's your name, man? He said, my name is Abuga. <laughs> I said, what's your name? He said, Booger. I said, okay, man. I said, my name is Blake. He said, oh, nice to meet you. My name is Blake. <laughs> <laughs> I gave him that stupid look. I said, all right. He said, so, man, I, 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 I had to check. Look, man, y'all get paid every week, every two weeks. 
I said, man, you get paid every week. Like, oh, yeah, man, wouldn't it be like 400 a week, 500 a week? I said, hey, brother, be honest with you, I see the $300 of checks I've been here. He said, nigga, what? <laughs> I said, yeah, man, I said, I'm serious. I ain't seen a 300 dollars check yet. He's like, oh, man, that's not good. How do you allow to work here? They told me I would make 650 to 750 a week. I said, they told me the same thing. He said, but, but besides that, man, how you like the job? I said, look, man. I don't like telling people stuff like that because you know what? You got your own way of working. You might like it. I, I know how I feel about it. So you got to do your own thing. So he said, and then I asked you that. I asked you, how'd you like your job? I said, I said, hold on, hold on, good to get there. He said, no, you hold on. I have to, to tell you. <laughs> he said, he said, you stop buying my shoes, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Are you going to do it again? He said, I know exactly who you is, my friend. I said, hold on, good to see you. Know me? He said, I know you and your friend, motherfucker. <laughs> he said, I'm good cool you. And like, like the boss came, he was like, hey, what's going on here? He's like, fuck you. You lie to me about the pick. I said, who told you about the pick? He's like, Blick nigga. My name Blick told you about the pick. I said, who's my name Blick? He said, my name Blick. I said, pull out. I was like, man, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, man, all that happened is sent me pulling out. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, all right, all right, man. Truth, man, you got anything else? Man, I ain't got nothing to say, man. Oh, Just, man, um, you guys got anything else? Before I go, yeah, before man, I got one more thing to put on your podcast, man. What's up? I, I don't know what's up for a subject right now. What y'all guys think about people, you know, who say one thing, every day of their life, but do the opposite? Aw, oh, man, that's... What you mean? Like right. hypocrites? Huh? Like hypocritical? Kind of, kind of not like hypocrites, but like people be like, all right, you be like, let's say it. Let's use us three as an example, right? All right. You know, we all chilling, right? We got, let's say, I'm going to use me. Every day I'll be like, yeah, man, uh, I think I'm about to move. But then I don't move. <laughs> probably don't want to get John or to get talked about if he said no in front of somebody in, in front of the person face so it's like I'm just going to make her another excuse and then I'm going to just do whatever I want and you see me somewhere else you can't tell me nothing basically mm-hmm. I think I think but this, but this I'll be like you know and then it's kind of stupid because let's say me and Blake rapping right we're making a song right and right. we let the nigga hear right the nigga ain't been through the studio but because that's niggas that just they 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 feed off of other people right, and they right. only doing it because they see that's, other people that's doing right. it. That's For the hype, and once that hype died on, it's like, yeah, man, I'm done. Yeah, that's yeah, kind of that's that's like, like living in the moment. Living yeah, in the moment. there you go, exactly. living in the moment. That's kind of like go. when, when Derek started coming back around and we started doing these parties, and like DTC them was rapping, and like all of a sudden everybody else wanted to start rapping. It's kind of like that. It's like, it's like a moment thing, but at the same time, it's kind of like it's a it's, it's whack because you're like, okay, we 
Y'all were not doing shit before, but all of a sudden, you know, it's like with me. Everybody want to help. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like they jumping on the bandwagon. Put it like, put it like that. They bandwagon. And it shouldn't be like that because if you feel that you good in something and you know you could do good, why not take it to the next level? You don't need nobody. Yeah, like you can like like people that like like these jobs be like, oh man, I'm a working man, and I ain't got time for this. Yeah. Because before it was all about me. I got to do this. I'm doing it. I'm buying this. But like when they get a job, they say, oh, I'm a working man now. Cause man, that's what you what we call that. We call that some fuck boys, right? Yeah, it's clear that fuck boys. Cause look at we we both work. We and some we, working just like you. You work too. It's like, but you you take time and do your football stuff, and we take time doing the podcast and all that. Like, it's like it's like a, what the hell's going? What the fuck? What's all that noise? Hey, hey, hey! Oh man, that, that's all the billion kids. You know, <laughs> But yeah, yeah, man, like yeah, like but like it's basically people, you know what I'm saying? They they once they in a safe place and they getting that safe money or that safe comfortability, they don't think about nothing else because they safe at the moment. But when all that shit yeah, starts to die down, it, it, it feel that way and stuff goes with man. Talking niggas still live with their mama, you feel me? <laughs> exactly. and, and they ain't got no <laughs> master bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> I got that right now. <laughs> that nigga dumb, man. That nigga, that nigga can't, can't party against the after one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I don't know, man. I, maybe I'm hating, but I, I'm just saying. It's, it's not hating. It is what it is. Man, that's, that's why we do this podcast, man. To get things like this off your chest. <laughs> Say what you it's want, the how the you want, where you want. Right? Yeah, yeah, the truth there you go. Yeah, the truth there you go. So shit. And how you feel about him? And just like last week, man, we had uh, Nick. He can't explain this part about how you felt about this little situation. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, you know what I'm saying? Maybe we might get a bitch out of here. I'm sorry. A female out here to explain this situation. But yeah, man, man, get it off the chest, man. Anything else you got to say about this cat you talking about? <laughs> yeah, man, let me tell you another thing, man. Like, you know, me and my homeboy, I'm not going to say no name. I'm just close people. We're in the group chat, you feel? Right. You know, these niggas just be roasting each other every day. This is just personal, my nigga. Personal. But, you know, we all know I'm cool, so we can take that. Man, me and my other whole bunch started like, roasting this nigga bad, man. They talk about, I'm with Jesus and I. <laughs> uh, I'm making beats. I'm making beats for life, you know. Uh, I know y'all people. And, and just five minutes ago, niggas roasting somebody. <laughs> I think, right. you know, that nigga can't take the pressure, my nigga. When the, when the water get hot, you want to jump out, you feel me? He like, you, you want them niggas who can dish but can't take it, put it like yeah. that. Yeah, that's because that nigga used to kill me, my dog. He's like, kill me every day, my nigga. Kill me, talking about my family, my dead people, my people who ain't dead. <laughs> God, God damn, God. God. You know? The nigga be going hard, man, to get the nigga to I still come back, man. We started jumping at the nigga, and the nigga started, nigga don't reply, man. We reply stuff like, oh, nigga, that's why you got jacked. Nigga want to get all this, and the nigga just spit it. Ah, oh, no, I get jacked. I get all the facts. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, uh, I heard about that group chat, man. Niggas do be getting sensitive, man. I, I noticed that, man. This dude that posted about the Jackson picture. <laughs> That's so funny. But yeah, man, niggas like that, brother. They like, I, I noticed when niggas like that, like they like to take the subject off of them. Let's see, and they get roasted. And like somebody just say, meanwhile, and they talk about the other nigga, you want to like jump on the other nigga. But it don't yeah, last long. Yeah. yeah, but it won't last long because they go back to him and then he get quiet. Yeah, man, yeah, they gotta be, you know be got to be strong. I just keep watching that nigga. My nigga put, I be putting season in there. I just put some chicken, sausage, man. <laughs> <laughs> I just be roasting that nigga, bro. They can't handle the heat, cuz. I be making that nigga sick, bro. Nigga be saying nothing, though, man. They be going to fuck about, man, this is the last thing. I'm going to let y'all go up this car. We got a podcast. We just not that long. Yeah, well, how y'all feel if, you know, you got a girl out of sick, you feel? <laughs>
They got fucked that around. <laughs> Literally. I don't know what that. Nah, man, I, think, I, think, I, think, I think that girl is just a pimp, a real true player. Hey, and she probably she probably do have she, she probably do have game. And That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, we that game is probably then when she leaves, that other nigga like one day I'm I'm lying, but one day the nigga was coming out the house and the nigga say, "Where you coming from?" She's like, "Apartment 120." I'm about to go on 120. What you doing today? He said, "I'm with my girl. Set up my girl." <laughs> Vagina, probably. I don't know, but nah, I, I don't know, man. Maybe two while you try to play hard, but nah, this is not that. This is used to something just like, just like you said. He was once he in a comfortable position, and that's all he know. He'll go back to that. We talked about that in the first podcast, basically. Yeah. Like, if he be comfortable with that, that's that's all he know, and that's what he'll go back to. Not saying that's a good thing. Not saying it's a bad thing. It just that's just that person. But shit, in the situation, if the things he's saying is probably like way worse, it. It's no good. The relationship yeah. ain't no good. So why go back? Like, it's this. That must be good. There ain't nothing good. It's just something. He- even though, even though if the vagina good, cool. Just, just make sure it's a fuck thing. Then yeah. It's nothing else than that. And fuck that. If it's just a fuck thing, come see me. I'm not about to drive that far. I'm about to say, obviously, she getting somebody getting something somewhere else. If you gotta drive for it and go meet it, then have it come meet you. There's something wrong. <laughs> That's all I got. Yeah, man, you know that happens. I don't know why. I, I understand the reason why the girl can't come because you, you got to find a mixture. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, you can't just bring somebody and somebody can't love and then they got to sleep on the couch and not the master bedroom. Yeah. So, that's, that's another problem. Right? So that's why I, 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 don't, I don't blame her on that. Right, right. You just true. That's true. Cause somebody did say that you don't want to go at that old at that two bedroom uh, one one bathroom place. <laughs> And they ain't got nowhere to sleep. And you need to change. You need to change yeah. the situation, homeboy. You need to you get your own spot, man. But anyway, man. Uh, man, but that nigga balling though. You see the record? <laughs> <laughs> Let me quit. Let me quit. Oh man, but there, man. Look, everybody. You know what I'm saying? Go see, go through it, man. Man, we like, we like to think that ball goes, man, for stopping Thank by you, the podcast. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all, man. Anytime, though. Anytime. Anytime. And shout out to Blocker for calling. You know what I'm saying? Go make sure y'all get that Street Fighter XX that's coming out in 2020. <laughs> Hell yeah, yeah, yeah bitch. Yeah. Be lit, you know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, man. Appreciate your goals, man. Thanks for it, man. You know what I'm saying? It's your boy, Say So. DJ True. Hey! <laughs> and you and the True Gives.